Morning, this is a class 47 Backman 31659 Delta Sierra. A digital locomotive with sound, has a driver, it has cab lights when you run it in digital. It will run in analog and digital. Superb locomotive, we're going to show you it running in both to show that it does. But bear in mind myself, I just run it as a digital locomotive. Right, in real life, this locomotive was built Jan 1962. In service, June 1963. It was scrapped in 1994. Being one of the original locos, it was 2,750 horsepower when it entered service. They have a top flight speed of 75 miles per hour. There's 32 of these preserved and 51 still in service. I hope you enjoy seeing this locomotive run and thank you very much for watching. Okay, like I always do, we're going to start in analogue. So do you want to put the power on and wind it up? And this is an analogue startup with a Gage Master DO. Back the other way, go, flick it so it goes back the other way. And you can see the control in analogue. And flip the switch so it comes back. And there you can see you've got the driving lights, but you don't have the cab lights. And you can see it runs at a nice speed, and you get the sound. And stop the loco, please. And when you stop it, you lose everything. Unlike in digital, you keep the lot. Okay, here we are running the loco in analogue on the sidings test. You have to go a little bit faster. Really slow, it's a little bit jerky, but at what I would say normal speed, a little bit faster. It's fine. And you can see it runs fine. It's very jerky at slow speeds. But you can see there's no major issues there. And we bring it back round. And you can see in analogue running, it's perfectly acceptable. Okay, we're going to do the uh, sidings test in digital now. And what speed are we on? Two. This is speed step two of 128. Going through a Pico Insel Frog point. Do you want to do it to three? Now just a point to note, you haven't seen me do any system resets on this to go from digital to analogue because on Batman locomotives you don't need to do it. You can put it on the track straight away, a digital locomotive with sound, and it runs straight away. What speed are we on there? Three. It's a speed step three of one to eight. Put it on one. Right, that's speed step one of one to eight going through 
a Pico Insel Frog Point. Yes, speed step one of one to eight. Anybody tells you you can't run digital locomotives through Insel Frog Points, being very diplomatic here, don't know what they're talking about. Put it up to four, otherwise you'll be here all day. Put it up to seven, please. That's better, that's more realistic. I only put it to one just to show you what you can do. And you can see that is smooth. It's running, well, faultlessly. And put it up to 10. I'm making it go slightly faster because we don't want to be here all day. Do you want to blast the horn? We're going to have to go back. We're just showing the brakes there. And they apply themselves. I know superb is a word used often, but this is fantastic. Okay, we're going to do the curve points test now. And I'm on the speed step of 1 to 8, and I'm doing speed 7. And these are radius 2 curve points. Three of them is going through, all Pico Insel Frog points. The last piece of power to the track is about where the locomotive is now. There's no droppers. This is at speed 11. We'll slow it down to 8. And this is really, really tight. I can see by the way the bogies are. I wouldn't recommend it. This was computer programmed. As you've seen, steam locos will not do it, but it's class 47. Rather good. And this is speed setting 2 of 1 to 8. Speed setting two. As I say, all in so frog points. This is five. So top speed is one to eight, and this is five. Let's give it some and take it out of here. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed seeing this locomotive do this test. Thank you. Okay, here we are doing the sidings test in analogue. As you can see with no cab lights. But it demonstrates that these locos will run in analogue.
We're running it at a fairly normal speed. I will be the first to admit with a digital loco, you do not have the same control as when running a digital loco in digital. With an analog loco that is purely analog, I could run it a lot, lot slower. But this is not exactly quick. And you can see there's no loss of power, there's no stuttering. It's running exactly how you would expect it to run. And as I say in my videos, you know when it's running in analog. If I forget to mention it, because there's no cab lights. As I say, Backman Locos in analog, there's no cab lights. But you can see that it runs. In fact, my driver's doing a superb job because what you can't see on this Gage Master DO controller, the movements are very, very small to adjust the speed when you're running this digital locomotive and an analog. Thank you. Okay, this is now running in analog. I'm just going to show you because this is how most of you would run it. In real terms, a siding test is great, but not many of you are stupid as I am to follow a computer program. I admit my stupidity, guilty as charged. But this is how most of you would run it. So this is a digital locomotive running in analog. With 12 carriages. Okay, here we are running in analog still. Do you want to accelerate it a little bit so people can see how you can accelerate it? And as I say, this is in analog. Anyway, we're going to run it in digital. Now you've seen what you can do in analog, we're now going to run it in digital. Thank you. And here's the digital starter. Cab lights off. No. There you go, cab lights on. Do you want to turn the light off so that people can see the main lights? That's cool. So, cab lights off. Cab lights on. Driving lights off. Driving lights on. Change direction. No. There you go. And now you can see. So you can see we're in digital, and if we can get the low car moving please. Do you want to give us a guard's whistle even now we're not at the station? No, because it doesn't have one. No, it must have somewhere. Okay, let's get the low car going.
There is no guards whistle on this locomotive. We've just checked and there isn't one. I just think it looks fantastic pulling all these coaches, it just looks so realistic. Here you can see the effects of cab lights and lights and carriage lights.
And here we are going through the points crossover. I hope you've enjoyed seeing this locomotive run. And thank you very much for watching.